So this uh, macaronic poem isn't as humorous as uh, some of the other ones I've read previously in the last couple of days. This is by Richard Hillis, uh, 1535, but it's still a nice little poem. Treatise on Wine The best tree, if ye take intent, inter ligna fructifera, is the vine tree by good argument, dulcia ferens pondera. Saint Luke saith in his gospel, arbor fructu noscitur, the vine beareth wine, as I you tell, hinc alis praeponitur. The first that planted the vineyard, Manet, in Saeli Gaudio, his name was no heir, as I am learned, Genesis Testimonio. God gave unto him knowledge and wit, a quo procedunt omnia, first of the grape, wine for to get, propter magna mysteria. The first miracle that Jesus did, erat in vino rubio, in Cana of Galilee it betide testante evangelio. He changed water into wine, aquae rubescunt hydriae, and bad give it to Archetline, ut gustet tunc primari air, just as the rose exceedeth all flowers. Inter cuncta florigera, so doth wine all other liquors, dance multa salutifera. David, the prophet, saith that wine, litificat cor hominis, it maketh men merry, if it be fine, est ergo dignae nominis. It nourisheth age, if it be good, facit, ut esset juvenis. It gendereth us, it gendereth in us, gentle blood, nam venas purgat sanguinis. By all these causes ye should think, Qua sunt rationabiles, that good wine should be the best of drink, inter potus portabiles. Wine drinkers all with great honour, semper laudate dominum, the which sendeth the good liquor, propter salutem hominum. Plenty to all that love good wine, donet deus largius, and bring them some when they go hence, ubi non citient amplius. So that's read with the traditional English pronunciation of Latin, which is why the Latin sounds a bit strange. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't rhyme. Although when he was writing this in 1535, uh, this is at the period of the Great Vowel Shift, so it could well be that the pronunciation of Latin at this time was somewhat more similar to restored classical than it became in the couple of centuries later when there was a marked change in the English pronunciation of Latin. 